Greetings, YouTube. So I want you to imagine that a woman is walking from her flight through an airport. She's carrying her toddler sister. There's a big age gap between two of them. That happens. I've known people in families that have age gaps that were like 25 years apart. The police approach her and begin to question her because she is carrying the toddler. Anyone want to guess what the colors of the people involved in this story are? That the toddler was white and that the sister was black. Yeah. So a black woman walking through the airport carrying her sister um, was uh, stopped by the police and questioned because someone thought that she was trafficking that child. And I was almost guarantee you that the person who made that call was a Karen. Some uptight woman, white woman, who could not stand the concept of a black woman carrying a white child around, being responsible for that white child, um, even though she probably would have been very comfortable um, if, you know, 50 years ago, if that person had been her nanny or, or her servant taking care of her daughter. But, no, in this case, it's trafficking because a black woman is carrying a white toddler. So whenever somebody tells you it's not about race, or they say, well, you're playing the race card, or say, and, and, and they want you to dismiss the concept that, you know, all your people are thinking it's all about race. It is all about race in America. Period. This nation was founded on white supremacy, genocide, and slavery. And we have never confronted that. We have never dealt with that. And we are dealing with the ramifications of that because the white minority is what we're going to have someday. And some of the white people already know this. Me, I'm looking forward to it. I really am looking forward to the port, port point in the future where we are not a, a country of any ethnic mi majority. When we fall below the 50% mark, and suddenly we are a nation of pluralities. And I should live to see that. Would be I can't wait. The white tears shall be so sweet. Um, but in the meantime, some of them are figuring out that they're losing power. And they don't like it. Which is why they're supporting fascism with the Republican Party. Which is why they're supporting the, the fascist troops in the street known as the cops. Which is why they're supporting the policies that are disenfranchising black people when it comes to voting. Because they are desperate to keep power. They are desperate to keep their privilege. Because they are afraid if they lose it, they will be oppressed. Because they know how they have been treating black people for 500 years. They are aware of this. If you ask a white person, if they would like to be treated like we treat black people in America today, and you get an honest answer. They're not a troll. They're not a white nationalist that, 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 that pretend otherwise. You get an honest answer, they're going to say no. I've seen this done live in, in speaking engagements where someone got on stage and said that. He said, okay, everyone in the audience that would like to be treated like black people are in America today, raise your hand. Nobody moves. She said, yeah, she said, you know, you don't understand. I want you to raise your hand if you want to be treated like black people are right now in America today. Nobody raised their hand. And she said, so you understand. You know exactly how black people are being treated. You're just not willing to admit it. You're willing to pretend that it's not going on because that helps your position and power. And that's what we have here going on in this airport. I can almost guarantee you it was a white woman that made that phone call. Because she saw a white child with a black adult. We've had people, parents, with their own biological children stopped by police because they were in a park and the kid was lighter skinned than the parent. Absolutely absurd. 
but it happens every day. And this woman is lucky that the child wasn't taken away. She's lucky she didn't get beaten or killed. Because that happens in America. You can call the cops because a black person needs help. That they are the victim of a crime. And they can end up being arrested or killed. It happens in America all the goddamn time. So when a white person calls the cops because they see a black woman carrying a white child, that, in my opinion, is violence. That is an act of violence. They want the police to stomp on that person. Because that would make them feel vindicated for making their phone call. Well, obviously, they deserved it. They had a white child with them. So, yeah. I mean, that tells you it isn't about race in America is either an idiot or a white nationalist. Or a white nationalist that is an idiot. Because the two are not mutually exclusive. It's always about race in America. Always has been. And until we confront our racist past and our racist present, and we become anti-racist, not just not racist, but anti-racist, this is going to continue to happen. You want a colorblind future? Well, you have to experience and understand and see the racism of the nation that we live in. It's always been there, and it always will be, until the white people of this nation stand up and admit it and face it, and they do the work to change it.